Hey everybody, this is Kyle, and today I'm reacting to Josephine Alexandra, and this is a guitar player that's come up a few times in the comments. As always with uh, these reaction videos, leave me an idea in the comments, and sometimes I'll put it on my community tab, sometimes I'll let my patrons vote, and sometimes I'll just kind of pick something if I'm just feeling like giving something a listen because this is fun for me. Okay, let's get this going. This is a Dua Lipa song, Don't Start Now. was in reply to a comment about fingerstyle guitar. It's hard as a fingerstyle guitar player to like get a lot of energy going. Yeah, some some players do, some players don't. Obviously, it depends on the song. Uh, but she is obviously using the beat, using the kind of energy of the song, the rhythm and stuff. And this is something you could kind of dance to. I could see people, you know, at a restaurant or something as they go up to uh, use the restroom or pay their bill or, you know, I could see people kind of dancing and grooving along. I do have to say, and this is my personal just kind of goofy quality, when I see a fingerstyle player, and I know Tommy Emanuel do, does this, use the thumb pick, I'm like, why, why, why use a thumb pick if you're going to play fingerstyle? I mean, because it changes how you use your thumb, and in a weird way, it kind of limits it, at least for me it does, whenever... I experiment around with it, um, prefer a thumbnail myself. What I really like about her playing, and you know, this might be the thumb pick since I was just kind of weirdly whining about it a moment ago. The bass line is so crisp and so almost kind of staccato. It almost sounds like to me like when you produce a track, you know, especially something kind of pop like, the way the bass needs to pop out between the drum beats. In production, they call that side chaining, and yeah, that's an oversimplified, stupid description that I'm not really <laughs> describing, so I apologize. If you're going, what is the side chain this guy is talking about? With her bass line work, it's really crisp. Uh, the notes are real short, and the notes have a duration that helps give that rhythm a drive. When I click on pause here in a second, follow the bass line, because that, that's pretty cool to keep that groove going.
trying to figure out what exactly she's doing to make like a kick drum sound. And that's the like low kind of thumpy part of a drum kit and a snare drum sound. It almost looks like she's putting her wrist on a guitar body to make a thump sound and then slap in the strings. The, the snare part of a drum beat that is usually on two and four, that's usually called the pulse and slapping your guitar strings as a fingerstyle player. That's something really common. What I like about what she does with the beat is getting that thump because uh, that's something I notice and, and I use pre-recorded drums when I perform and looping them live, nothing gets people moving like a drum beat. Yeah, you can strum your guitar, pluck your guitar strings to your heart's desire, but if it doesn't have some sort of beat or rhythm, people are just going to sit around and go, wow, this is a really nice guitar player. Wow, they're playing really well, as opposed to getting up and dancing and having fun. And sometimes when you perform, that's what you want. You want that energy of the song to go to the audience and make them move. So speaking of moving, let's keep playing. That's really cool. I always like uh, watching fingerstyle players take a song, and you can tell a lot about the song by how much their fingers are moving around. As a guitar player, you have your hand in a position on the neck, and that usually makes a chord when you, you know, pluck or strum or whatever to make multiple strings sound at the same time. And usually the melody notes are part of the chord notes, you know. She was playing part of the melody higher up, so to fill in some of the gaps and to give the melody more definition. It's kind of neat watching her play it. A lot of pop songs are pretty simple. That has nothing to do with her ability as a guitar player. Just this particular song seems to be very well suited to make it finger style. And then particularly with the energy, the way she had a beat going, the way the bass line was really crisp. She was really good at making certain parts stand out really well and make everything kind of work together and keep that momentum going. And that's something I always like when I hear another guitar player. You know, number one, are they going to interest me? Because, you know, when you play music, it's like, hey, we all play the same 12 notes, you know. So you're looking for something that's a little interesting or usually it has to do with the player's particular personality or style. To me, that drive is what really appealed to me. Let me know in the comments what appealed to you, if anything. You know, if you like this song, if you know the original. I don't. I'm sure I've heard it because I, I know I've heard a bit of Dua Lipa, but this particular song, I'm going, I don't. I, but if, if you know me, that is not unusual for me to go, I know I've heard it, but I don't remember because I hear way too many songs. I want to take a moment and thank these patrons. Consider joining us on Patreon. I do exclusive videos and content each month. That's a lot of fun. And being a patron is a good way to support the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me on this reaction. I'll see you next time.